All right, in this video, we're gonna show you how to set up a tour on your primary monitor connected to your DVR P series, DVR Ultimate series, and DVR PF series, and also our hybrid NVRs and NVRs. You right click anywhere on the screen and you go into main menu. If it asks you for a username password, you can use the super user, which is six number eights, and the password is six number eights, or you can use the admin user with a specified password you have. Go into settings, click here, then go into display. This menu option is available on all of our DVRs. Just to go through it briefly, on the top, the transparency setting tells you for the numbers being appeared here, there's a little back there's a little background to the date and timestamp and also the channels if you want to make their transparency less than completely opaque, opaque being 200. On the right hand side you can click on channel name modify and give each camera a different camera name rather than just cam and then the number after it. If you want to display time on the top right hand side and also on the video that's actually being recorded on the DVR do you want a date and timestamp stored? If you don't, you can uncheck it. Uncheck is when it becomes transparent. Right now it's checked. And channel display. When you're viewing, do you want your channel name to actually appear on here or not? Resolution, this, and it, this refers to the primary monitor, what resolution you're running it at through the DVR. In this case, we're running it at 1280 by 1024 pixels. Now, if you want to change how your cameras in live view are being displayed, rather than having a default grid, of, let's say you have four camera DVR, it'll be a default grid of four all the time. On an eight camera system, it'll be a default grid of eight all the time. And on 16, it will be a default grid of 16 all the time. Like here, this is the default grid on a 16 channel DVR. And this is a DVR P16, the mini professional. Now if I want to change that, I will go here and enable tour. What this means is it's going to cycle through certain cameras I specify. In this case, based on customer demand, we're making this video. We're going to show you how to only show cameras one camera at a time in full screen mode and cycle through several cameras at a time. You want to hit enable tour and you want to uncheck this box all. When you check it, all the options below will become checked and when you uncheck it everything else will become transparent unchecked in here I want to show one camera at a time so view one and I'm gonna cycle through specific cameras I can pick and choose what I want in this DVR there are 16 cameras and I'm choosing 1 2 3 6 8 11 and 13 in this case you can also specify the time interval that you want in between the camera switching so here I can go to a minimum of five seconds between one camera switching to another and up to a double digit number like 51 seconds. Put it back to five. So in this setup, this will show me I enable tour. When I exit and save this menu, it's going to show me one camera at a time in full screen mode. It's going to cycle through channels one, two, three, six, eight, eleven, and 13. Motion tour type refers to if you had motion being detected by the DVR and you have it actually enabled in the proper, properly by going to the settings, there's a different video on how to do that. When it senses motion, how do you want motion to be displayed? You can select either viewing one camera at a time and then cycling through the ones that have motion or viewing a grid of eight at a time. I press save. I exit out. After a few seconds, if you have cameras connected, it will cycle through. So right now, it just cycled through the camera one. It's going to wait five seconds. Now it went to camera two, wait another five seconds. Then it'll go to the next selected camera I have, in this case, three. It'll keep on going. Six. Eight. So it's skipping as I told it to. I'm going to exit out. Go back into settings and display. And now I'm going to choose a different kind of display. Let's say I want to show four cameras at a time. What it refers to here is whether showing the first page of four, the second page of four, third page of four, or the fourth page of four. So there are four cameras. Having four cameras 
on each page times 4 means 16 so this gives you a total of 16 camera choices if you have an 8 you'll pro probably only have 1 and 2 available if you have 4 you only have 4 available or actually just 1 available on 8 you have 1 and 2 and on 16 channel you have 1, 2, 3 and 4 so I'm going to choose 1 and 2 it's going to show me the first 4 cameras and then the cameras 5 through 8 on the second page press save it's going to take your command and it's going to refresh the display first four second page of four let's say I want to set it to something else and by the way you can select every single camera as well if you wanted to or just the first eight if you wanted to there's so many multitudes there's a huge selection of variable choices you have you can basically view all the cameras you want or view only a few of the cameras you want to view on the view eight the firmware has kind of programmed it differently. You can view the first two cameras and an eight camera grid. So I'm going to display the first two pages of eight camera grids. It displayed camera one through eight here. It's going to wait a few seconds. It retains the same page because what's happening is if you actually had cameras connected here, it would show camera one and two. One and two. None of these other cameras would show because it's going to show me a page of eight, but it's only going to show the cameras I selected. So this actually is a little bit different than this option, which here was showing you pages rather than the actual cameras. Here it's referring to each specific camera number. So on view nine, it'll show you the first page of nine cameras, so cameras one through nine, and on the second page will show you cameras 10 through 16. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please like our video below and subscribe to our YouTube video channel. Thanks.